Fantastic. And it goes on and it goes on and it goes on. It's like, it's like there's no end to the clock, sisters. Well, I think that's a good thing. Yeah, I, I think it is, there's no end. You all have been singing for how long now? God, I want to say 35 years. Hmm. I think that's about it, about 35 so for years. three and a half decades, you all have been singing as, as a family unit. Yep. And you are the oldest of the sisters? Yes, I am. My God, help us today, <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Amen. And how old are you? We're not going to say Praise how God old for Jesus. <laughs> Amen. Amen. But we're not very young, but we're <laughs> almost there. <laughs> but but, but how, how does it feel to be like that bridge, the bridge between the, the, the past and the present? Because that's where God has you all now. He has you all as the bridge that links the past with, with the future, yes. as a matter of fact. And this is where God's placed you. How does it feel to be placed in this, in this position where there are the young people that are looking up to you and they know you just as well as those who, from the way back days in the Church of God in Christ? <laughs> I think, um, you know, Pastor, um, that we have been an example. Mm -hmm. And I think more than anything that if we say anything about our life or anything about what Dr. Maddie Moss Clark instilled in us, it would be that we would be a pure example. And one of the things that um, she always taught us is that you will live saved whether you want to or not. You don't have a choice. You know, you got to live saved. Mm -hmm. And that the songs that you sing about, you have to live that when you walk off the stage. You can't, you can't get on the stage and sing one thing about the Lord and then get off the stage and do something totally different. Yes, yes. And I think if, if if there was anything that I would want people to remember us by, it would be that we were wholesome, holy women mm -hmm. of God yeah. and that we were an example for young people. And um, if, if, if nothing more is said, just to be an example, I think, would be the best thing. Because when you're an example, it means that you live the, you live the life, you walk the walk, and you talk the talk. But more importantly, that your life is clean yeah. and pure. I think that's, I mean, that says it all. So it so is... That's right, give God praise. So it was more than just the music. It was oh, more than the performance. Absolutely. It was more than the song. Absolutely. It was the word of God. Yes. It, I, and I know you all lived in church. <laughs> I did my homework on the back pew at my church. Mm -hmm. I mean, I mean, and Dorinda can tell you, we would go to church we, on days when, when we had had to uh, a lot of homework my daddy would say just bring it on we go all do it on the back you can go on the back pew and do it and when you get finished you come on up to the revival we're gonna have revival tonight you just come on <laughs> and that's what we did Bible band. By, and no matter w -W -W and then when we, and then when my daddy did and then when it was time for terry service if you wasn't finished with your homework you had to get him to come to terry see every time we had to terry you had to get the holy ghost over and over and over again <laughs> So, you know, it's a good thing because I believe that it made me who I am today. Right, and, and, right. and the people that are watching right now, they don't understand the real dynamics of what we're talking about, of what tarry service Ooh, We need to was. break that thing down. I'm not so really, because they don't have the full scope of what it meant to be a child growing up in the church. It's true. Tarry service meant that no matter what you was doing, you were on your knees. That's it. Crying out to God crying when they to told God. you. That's right. When they said it's time to tarry, you came up to the front, you got down on the altar, and they stood over you. And you know what? Sometimes we'd go to the altar, mm -hmm. and we would not want to be in tarry service, right? But you know what? After you get down there and say Jesus so many times, <laughs> oh, glory to God. It brings you in. He just brings you right on in. in. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You, know, you come down there, you, 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 you're, you're mad because you have to come, but once you, once you really get involved, yeah, absolutely. the tears start the flowing, tears, I'm and, and your you. age doesn't make a difference. And it doesn't. I, it happened with me when I was nine. See? I was nine years old when I came to Jesus, and I was at a shut-in when I was eight. And see, I don't know what a shut-in is. <laughs> come, on, come on, come on, you got to tell Lord them. Lord have mercy, oh, Jesus. Right. You all don't know what a shut-in is. A shut-in was... When you, you went to church uh -huh. on a night. That's right. And you eat. shut the doors. The door, and you don't go out. And you didn't you eat. Didn't eat no. You didn't eat. You didn't bring pillows. No. And you were there to pray until the dawn. Right. Anybody here? No, no, y'all don't know about Come that. On. <laughs> and I was eight years old in my first shut-in. And, you know, I was there and I was playing, laughing at the older saints, you know, because they were on the floor crying. And it was a small room. 
and they were on the floor crying and they were calling out to God and Jesus and I was laughing at them. I was laughing doing the, oh Jesus, 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 Jesus. And then and I, I kept playing and then something started to happen. Mm -hmm. And the tears started to well. Come. And I started saying, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. And then you know what happened? <laughs> y'all, y'all been there. <laughs> y'all stop sitting there acting like y'all don't know Come what I'm on, talking about. Come on, some of y'all know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <that's> <laughs> and before I knew it, it was morning. That's right. right. And that is the way that God, that I experienced God. I found God through those type of shuttings, through, the, through, through going to church, being a part of it. And they did not emphasize the music. That's right. They it emphasized That's the right. worship, the relationship and you're with right. God. That's right. And you're absolutely right. I remember um, there was a time, and you know, even today, um, it, it really bothers me that a lot of times, like, you know, if somebody comes into church and they may be demon-possessed. Mm -hmm. And I remember a time when there was a young lady that was, we were in revival. Uh, I'll never forget, Evangelist Maria Gardner was running a revival at our mm -hmm. church. And there was a young woman who came who was demon-possessed. And, and, um, and my mother used to always tell us, you know, now, when, when, something, when someone comes in church and they're, and they're demon-possessed, you have to be very careful. If you are not saved and covered, yeah. you know, if you're not saved, that demon can jump out of that person onto you. So that was one of the reasons my mother was scared. But I'm telling you, Maddie Moss, clock wasn't no joke. <laughs> she, that lady would tell us, you know what? Now, see, if you go there and see somebody come to church tonight and they demon-possessed, that demon going to jump off on you, so you better be right with God. <laughs> And I remember, but you know, I remember we, we stayed there and we prayed all night with her until the, until the Lord released that woman, until the yes. devil got out of her. You know, and, and today, we don't want to do that. We won't take the time to do that. No, not at all. You know what I'm saying? But that, that's crucial. It's crucial. And they taught us. They taught us that yes, our did. relationship with God meant more than our abilities and our talents. Yes. Absolutely. They, they taught us that it's not so much you can sing, because the bottom line is if you were singing, in the choir yes and weren't living holy they'd spot it yeah, in a minute uh, the, the, a the minute. older saints would spot it in a minute and they'd, they'd come by and hit you and say sit down mm -hmm. you ain't got nothing and there was there was no debate no it wasn't you sat down mm -hmm. because they, they they made it a point that your life had to exemplify what, what you, you sang, sang. And, that was and if you weren't going to be holy in your lifestyle, yes. then you shouldn't sing about it Absolutely. As, as an entertainment form. And those were the benefits that got us to where we are now. Absolutely. If it hadn't been for those things, yes. we, you know, we would be quite the hypocrite. Mm -hmm. But God, God taught us through the older people that it's not so everybody's talent. Yes. Some, yes. There, there are people that are coming up under me that have more talent yes, in their one finger than I have in my mm -hmm. whole body. Yes. So talent comes easily. But it's the integrity and the that's character right. and of the, the character. person. Right. That's right. And the relationship oh, that means something. Oh, absolutely. You know. and, and, you, and you know, Pastor, I think um, it, it's, it's crucial that if we're going to live our lives, we have to make sure that, that we walk in front of people and don't hinder them. Mama just said, you're going to be a hindrance, then you need to get out of the, way. Out of the way. You know, you, you cannot stay in this area and, and, and think you're going to prosper. Right. And you're living a lie. Mm -hmm. And so I think that was, that, that's really a crucial thing. But the problem is a lot, a lot of people think that they're prospering in this because of the acclaim of the people. Right. See, in, in, the, in, the, in, the, in the gospel music industry, and that's not, uh, 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 it's not divided by race as the industry wants it to be. Absolutely. But the gospel music industry is inclusive of everyone, black, white, yellow, brown, male and female, it doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. In the gospel music industry, it becomes addictive. We, we become addicted to the acclaim, to the renown, yes. to the applause yes. of the people, yes. to the appreciation of the people. And, and people will co-sign oh, yeah. what we do right. based on our talent and not our walk. Well, that's right. right. And it makes us hypocritical and duplicitous in a lot of ways because, yes. you know, we, 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 we become like Samson and shake ourselves mm -hmm. when it's time to perform. Mm -hmm. right. But then if you don't have the integrity that is forged Bef outside of the vision of the yes, people yes. in the back room with just you and God Absolutely. once you finish your performance you go back into the same sinful cycles yes. until the next time to shake you yourself that's right. but this stuff that we have was forged in prayer it was yes. forged in Bible study yes. it was forged yes. in services where they imparted into us yes. and it's important for even for all those that may be watching 
the musicians and the singers that may be watching, it's okay. important for you to understand that you have to do first things first. first. Absolutely. And you, the first thing is to seek the kingdom of God and his righteousness. That's it. That's it. Yes. Not your gift. Right. The kingdom of God and his righteousness. And then once you get that straight, yes. then you can, all the rest will be added and, and you'll be able to handle it right. with integrity and That's with right. character. That's right. That's what I find in, 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 in those... That's what I find in these Clark sisters here. Thank they you. walk in integrity, and in, out, of, out of all the time I've known you, there's never been anything salacious or, 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 or scandalous about you. Thank you. you all have lived Thank lives you. that have Thank been you. exemplary and have caused people to be able to see you yeah. in the light that you really represent Jesus Christ. Yeah. You know what, Pastor?